right, all right, all right. We're back, Private Talk Podcast, and we're here with my guest, Rude Jude. And before I get to my game, I was thinking about this when I took my break, and you were explaining to me about, like, cave pussy. Are there any other descriptive pussies that you, like, whatever? Because I feel like there's a whole different philosophy out there that Private Talk doesn't know about, and even myself. So can you, you know, elaborate on that um, topic or is there nothing yeah. at all? Or like everyone, like I was shitting on cave pussy and some of these girls like, oh, yeah, I don't got that cave pussy. But you know what's almost as bad as cave pussy? Almost as bad. Let us know. Fucking shallow ass tight pussy. Like when I like I got a medium dick, right? Like I, it's medium, if you will. It's medium. And like when a girl can't take all my dick, but what? I'm what like, this is a real not bummer. Taking, they're running away. They're saying it hurts. They're being like whatever. Like they, let my listeners know. They're doing all right. Like they're doing the, the, the is they're t- they're doing two things. It's either the basketball shit, like they posting up, or they're doing the stop in the name of love when you trying to get you trying I, to more get like it. the Heisman. Like you know. yeah, they trying to Heisman your motherfucking ass, and it's like yo, I'm trying to get in the motherfucking pussy. And you know, for big booty cheeks, if you like really like angle your booty a certain way, it's it's. A lot better for me, not for you. <laughs> well, what that, yo, hey, real talk. Like, for most women out there, if the dick is hard, they're fucking happy. And if you're coming, I'm fucking stoked. Like, well, I, my pet peeve is like, like a girl will be riding me and start rubbing my nuts. And I'm like, are you going to come off of you rubbing my nuts? And they're like, no. So you're a pleaser. You want them to come more times than you come yourself. Uh, yeah. I I usually eat the pussy and start off a nut ahead. Like I'm I'm starting so off with house school. money. Old school. I come from a neighborhood where one, you can't if you nut fast, you get clowned on, and two, if you're not good at fucking a girl, you ain't shit. And so does this, everyone just talk about this in the neighborhood? Yeah, like you get a motherfucker. They this was be this is pre internet. They had Yelp reviews on a motherfucker's dick, and there's been times Isn't I remember for a life. What's that? Real life, you had Yelp reviews on Yelp oh. reviews on dicks. Yo, everybody knew who could fuck and who couldn't fuck, and everybody knew who had a big dick, who had a bat, who had a little dick. Like them chicks would talk. So those girls were fast. And in real talk, when I fuck a girl, like I, the, I want, when I walk into a party, I'm like all of their girls know everything about my dick. So what was the reviews about your dick, dude? Well, <laughs> I'm gonna tell you something. What I'm from, star rating did you get? I'll be real. I, I'll keep it. I'll keep it one zillion, billion, trillion with you. I'm I'm from the '90s, and back in the day, black dudes didn't eat pussy, and I wouldn't eat pussy either because the first chick I ever fucked. Her pussy smelled like a swamp. Like it was like, yo. I'm Did like, you attempt to go down there and just do like the worm, or you were just like not going down there? I'm gonna be. My dad was from the. My dad is an Italian dude, and he was. He's his parents are Depression era, and I would make food, and if I didn't like it, I throw it out. And if my dad caught me throwing out food, he would make me go in the trash, dig out the food, out the trash, and eat that shit. Now, me eating a fucking dirt pussy ain't that bad after eating some scrambled eggs out the fucking trash. So I remember the first time I ate some fucking stankin'-ass pussy. I'm eating this shit. It was on this girl with, speaking of long ass, I write, I write about it in my book, and I'm sure she was a sweetheart, too, this poor, this poor girl, but her ass was like a cookie pan. It was just this long, flat booty, and I remember she would, like, bend over to turn turn the TV, and this was back in the day when they had the uh, the floor, remember the floor units? Yes. And then the if dials you, and the antenna. Yeah, and, and then the broke motherfuckers would put the, the floor unit bre- would break, and then you would just put the other TV on top of the floor unit. And if you was real broke, you'd change it with some pliers. Like, that was like, that's where I'm from. So this chick is over here bending over, fucking with this long-ass booty and a stanking-ass pussy, and I just would be mad as hell. And she'd be like, what's wrong? I'd be like, nothing. Like, no, I don't even want to talk about it. I'm like, no wonder none of my fucking black friends eat pussy. And you just didn't eat it, but you fucked it, though. Well, here's the deal. So, like, we run mm-hmm. we run Bustos. Mm-hmm. Bust, Bustos is called... Bustos is another one. I want the truth! And the truth is Bustos is trains. And, and I think in Chicago, they call them bust downs. But we in Detroit, we call them Bustos. That's where, like, more than one person will fuck the same girl. Gang bang. Train. Train. Run the train. 
Okay. And so my dad had the habit of walking around butt ass naked. And I got the littlest dick in the family. And then I'd be running bus toes with my black friends. And like we'd all have our dicks out, getting our dicks sucked. And you can't help but notice you're like, damn, my dick look like somebody's nephew. You know what I mean? I'm like, shit, this is this fucking sucks. Somebody's nephew. Yeah, my dick looked like a nephew. Like it was just like nephew like, dick. Yeah, like my <laughs> homie's dick looked like my uncle. I'm like, that sucks. You know what I mean? So I'm like, I'm gonna have to start eating some pussy. Like, I don't like the taste of it, but I'm a, that's gonna You gotta be- work with something. Yo, it's like X-Men. I needed a special power, and my special power was not a big dick. So I was like, I'm going to eat the pussy. Smart man. And it was like. Because girls love when a man can eat pussy. And There's not very many that do or are good at it. Well, that's, I'm, I was awful at it the first time. I remember the first time I ate, I ate the pussy, I was like, <laughs> fellas, let me, let me break it down. Let me, let me explain to you how you eat some pussy. Let private talk now, guys. I want you to subscribe and like to this channel. He's about to break it down. Rude Jude, let's get it. Break it down for them. Look, you doing all this licking all around the shit. You looking all looking in the hole and a little bit of tongue fucking tongue fucking up. It's a clip, bro. Hit the clip. What you do with that clip though? You look at slow first. You start okay. slow. You start slow. And that's and that's even bitches giving head. That shit. Like you numbing a motherfucker. You blowing my dick out. You just blew my congratulations. You blew my dick out. <laughs> all that good, 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 good. Like what the fuck is you like? Bitch, you having a seizure on my motherfucking dick? Chill the fuck out. Just start slow. You can get there. Use your hand. Get it sloppy. You like that R and B music? That slow. Yeah, grind work into that it. motherfucker. Yo, when I jerk off, I jerk my mother. Do you I'm have a like, song? Gah, 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 gah. Do you have a song that you like to like? You know, slow man, slow, slow jam to. Yeah, I fuck to a gang of shit. I fuck to everything from Michael Franks to Isley Brothers. I remember I was fucking with a, this goth, this goth chick, and she was like, "Turn this shit off. This is corny." And I looked at her. And I was like, you better get up. I was like, I can't fuck with you. And then there's this other dude named Michael Franks, who's like a uh, he's a white jazz dude from the 70s. And she was like, I remember it was uh, Rita Perlman's niece. Remember Danny DeVito and Rita Perlman? So it was her niece. And I remember eating this bitch's pussy and I'm a, I'm <laughs> fuck it, whatever. I met her on Tinder. This is a throwback shit. And I ate her pussy. And I'm like, this shit tastes like chicken masala. Like, her fucking shit tastes like curry. And I'm like, I'm about to fuck. And Michael Franks comes on. It's a (laughs) fucking. And she's like, yo, if I feel like I'm on a yacht, what is this bullshit? And I was like, I can't I can't even put my dick in you. Like I'm not even fucking I'm not even fucking your fucking I'm not even fucking your ass. Like you don't you don't appreciate Michael Franks. You just left her legs open, got to go. We just chill for a second and I'm like, you know what, it's getting late. Did you get her an Uber? Yeah, I'm a gentleman. <laughs> nice, I like that. No, I no, real talk. I'm like so <laughs> I, I, and it wasn't Uber pool. I got her like her. I got her a legit. I'm not one of them lames that's gonna fuck a chick and get her a fucking Uber pool home. I'll get you a regular Uber. Uber. You ain't getting the SUV or no shit like that. But like, I'll get you. You can get in a no Corolla. black car service, but you can nah. get yeah, yeah. economy, economy. With yeah, the you can get in a motherfucking you. Corolla. So yeah. Anyways, I you know I learned I that so you eat the pussy, you eat it slow, and then you bring them fingers in, and this is what you do. What you do? I learned this shit. I learned this shit from a fucking Asian lady. She came on and she was like straight up. She was like a fucking walking stereotype. She was like, oh, it's all the door, the door, big dick, God silver. Oh, you need a bigger dick. You want to teach her how to squirt? I'm like, yeah, teach me how to teach a chick how to squirt. I can make girls squirt. I can make girls squirt too. And not that bullshit shooting piss. Oh, me neither. So you already know. This is what you, I'm Italian. Read about me. Shit, ditto. <laughs> you don't have a squirting history. I do. Uh, you, yeah, you got it on film. I just mm-hmm. got it in books, and I, I might be lying on my squirt. To be real, this is there's what you, proof. This, this is what you tell this, us about what you did. This is what you do. I'm Italian, so you know how you you we talk like this. Like, hey, Mama Mia. Hey, it's like an Italian gang sign. So you do like this. You go first. You work one finger. Uh, get that shit wet. Get. Two fingers, work that shit up. Three fingers, 
three three fingers is a nice one. That's an if you if you really want to if you really want to push it to the limit like Scarface, push it to the limit. You fucking hit her with that four fingers, but you hit her da 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 like Mama Mia. Hey hey, give me some more sausage. So you put that shit up in the air, Mama Mia, and then you got scrape 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 scrape, and they're gonna be like, no 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 no, don't do it. I feel like I'm gonna pee, and then you say, baby, piss the bed. I don't give a fuck. And then you hold them down. You like, you like, you gonna piss this fucking bed. I don't give a fuck. And then you'll scratch, 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 scratch. And then you it starts going quack, 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 quack. It sounds like Donald Ducks in the pussy. And you, and it it looks like pearl. That's how that's how you know you're doing it right. Cause it looks like a pearly, like a pearly paint job is in is in your fucking hand. And you go squirt, 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 and it fills up your hand. And they're like, oh shit. And then when you're done, you Splat them on the fucking Smack chest and be like, "Look, look at the mess you made." And then you lick it, lick it. And then you My lick technique it. is more like this kind of thing. You do up and you know this kind of thing. It's a, it's so it's but similar. You like, yeah, but similar. But you know, because you're you know your G spot, so you want to like curve yeah. and do it, and you're also hitting the clit at the same time. That's a nice. So it's so, like you know, it's pushing against it at the same time and letting it go. I remember I made my first girl squirt, and her she only did girl girl, and her husband was on set, and he was so mad because he never made her squirt. He was like, no. And I was like, I can teach you if you want. You're like, but yes, but his ego I, was too big to uh, fucking learn, right? Of course, you could go pout in the corner. Time out. I'm gonna be. <laughs> I, I remember I I was fucking with the South African girl, and they got. They got black girls, they got white girls, and they got colored girls. I ain't come up with this shit. It's South African. And colored girls in South Africa is, like, mixed. So, like, they look, they just mixed on, mixed on, mixed on, mixed. So Beautiful. They banging. <laughs> Beautiful. Ass fat, ass fat as hell. Big That's booty. That's one place I still want. I want to go to my bucket list. So, I'm fucking, like, I, I pull this chick out to party. I... I I knock that shit down and I get her to squirt and she ain't never squirt before. Yo, I, I was so proud. She hopped on the phone and started texting her homies. Like, I was like, damn, I, I hit her with it. Like, it's one of those things that like, if you've never had it happen to you, it's a, you get shook. Like yeah. the first time you really get shook. Like you didn't really know what it was. The first time I did was on camera and I didn't know really what it was. And it was definitely like, wow. All right. But it's not something that happens all the time. It's definitely like a technique and something you have to like, you know, yeah. work for or whatever. It's not, and most, some girls don't even do it or know, or let the like inhibitions of just letting a release you go. Gotta, yeah, you, you have let to let, go. like be comfortable. You have to like, like you said, you have to like be, hey, if you piss, I don't care. Cause most people think like, they don't know what it is, yeah. but it feels that like that sensation. So they, it's the vulnerability of like, uh, what's going to happen, you know? But and, that's kind of like, and, and that's kind of like, what kind of what you do and what I'm doing is it's like sometimes you just want a motherfucker to take charge and that's on both sides. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, yo, when you in bed, like if we doing this, it's like, yo, I got you. It doesn't fucking matter. I fucking got you. You trust me. You trust me enough for me to fucking put my dick in you. Look, just trust me. But I do got you feel you. like every time that you have someone come in your bedroom, you feel like lay it down to be like that memorable. Like, you know that I'm the one that just fucked the shit out of you. So they come back repetitively. Yeah. I got, I got hashtag goals. Look, I, I have an extremely low self esteem and I find, I find myself work worth at, at the at the back of a woman's vagina so, so you feel yeah. the most comfortable and confident in the back of a woman's vagina so i'm trying i'm going talk right now i'm going hard in the motherfucking paint like i'm going hard in that bitch like right now um me, i had a girlfriend i had the first time i had a girlfriend in 10 years and we got all these sex toys and i, I put them in the chest and i was about to fuck her with the sex toys and we was high as on ecstasy and acid and I couldn't, the chest locked. And I'm like, what are we gonna do now? I was like, let's call a whore. So we call this hooker and we get this little young red bone from motherfucking Virginia or some shit like that with a nice fat ass. And by the time she got there, I was so fucked up. I couldn't even get my dick hard. And I, but I hit her with the mama Mia. Mama Mia. Did your girl like girl? Or did your girlfriend at the time like girls that enough that she could satisfy your whore, as you call her? 
I'm a fucking trick. Like, what the... F- like, I'm not... I don't... I'm wh- just saying, yeah, was yeah. your girl into the girl because you couldn't get yeah. hard, but yeah, you yeah. let her squirt, I- but does your girl like girl... You know what I mean? Because sometimes you know it's what? only like a third-party thing. Girls only like to be with a girl if another a guy is included, they, but they won't be with a girl-on-girl girl by themselves. She was with girl-on-girl girl by herself, and the really cool thing about it was it was funny. She had all these body image issues, and I'm like, nah, man, like, embrace your femininity. But I think that happens a lot with like beautiful women. I've seen it in like my industry, especially in, in your the, in industry. The is yeah, like, it, it's like they're the most beautiful person. You would think that they wouldn't think they have the stigmas that they do, and then like it's like body dysmorphia, and it's like embrace who you are, like love who you are. With me, it's like I you know, you. I started in the business when curvy girls and big girls like myself wasn't really no, the thing. You know no, what I mean? wasn't. And, yeah. you know, I wasn't the pioneer for that. I mean, Brianna Love was there. It was that person you know that made that kind of the, the breakway through that, but. It also, when I came into the reins of that, it was like embraced who I was. And I used to have women until it's still to this day, which makes me feel gratitude of what I do is like, thank you for letting me being allowed to like love myself and my body, like making me feel like it's not just the skinny girls that get to have sex and be an icon and a sexual thing is thank you for just being you and being comfortable in who you are is because I'm not the skinniest person. And I'm not the biggest person. You know, I'm just me. I've always been curvy. I've always had, you know, here or there, whatever, but I've just embraced my sexuality in <laughs> that. A nice like, way to say f- a nice fat I'm, ass. Yeah, You're like, like here, you know there, I mean? whatever. You but I mean, you know, I mean, I don't. I'm not it. flat chested. I no. have a booty. I mean, yeah. I'm, I'm curvy. You know, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm a woman. I and even when I was younger, I've always had a butt. My boobs came a little bit later. But she got that Viking ass. Ooh, I've got that Puerto Rican ass. That motherfucking yeah. raping marauder that, ass. <laughs> that fucking go take over Ireland and make them have red. You hair. disloyal fool ass bitch made punk. Don't get mad at me for what, <laughs> for, for what your people did. Hey, you better stop that. Shit. I ain't shit. I ain't mad at the Vikings. I like that. I like unapologetically taking motherfucker shit. I hate when a motherfucker takes some shit and be like, "I'm sorry." Be like, bitch, take that shit. Cause if they, could, cause if you can, you will. Hey. And if they could do it, they'd have done it to your ass. But they couldn't. So, like, shout out to the Vikings for running around and making redhead get, get giving giving redheads fat asses. I appreciate you. I'm not redheaded and I have a fat ass, but it's okay. Give me credit. Too. It's not all about you. It sometimes. is because this is private talk and this is all about me. I hope you're subscribing and liking oh my channel. Fucking God. Rude Jude. Is there any other kind of pussy that you want to explain to the private talk podcast here? Yes, I fucking do. Explain the, these pussies to us. All right. The worst, the worst pussy. And this is where, like, I remember I used to watch porn and I'd be like, I see a motherfucker with a big ass dick. Cause I'm going to be real with you. Like, I don't like watching Japanese porn because I don't want to see somebody. Isn't it, it's blurred, though, isn't it? That, they don't show the sexual content. Even if they do, like, I want to see somebody with a smaller dick than me fucking. So you need the big cock to, like, be there for you. I wanted to. I wanted to. I want to see a chick get pounded the fuck out. You know what I'm saying? Like, all right, beat that motherfucker up. Got him. You dig? Like, there's a, <laughs> like. But like, so I would watch that shit and I'd be like, damn, man, that motherfucker got a bat. And then I'm looking, though, I'm looking and this is the way I break it down. I've broken down like this before. It's like he got all this dick, right? And then like the bottom three inches never feels pussy. So it's like. The, f- the top of his dick is in the VIP and the bottom is like, hey, you got some wristbands. Hey, bro, can you, can, can you give he me a drink? A, he better bring a cock ring. Yeah, can you bring it? You got some wrist. Let me get up in that shit. They never, that bottom of the dick never feels the pussy. So I'm like, I'm grateful that I get to go balls deep in pussy. Like nine times out of 10, I go balls deep. And then if they can't take it, I hit them with that yoga shit. I, be, I do Le Mans on their ass. Thank God for being a teen dad. I'll be like, look, <laughs> this is what I want you to do. Uh, they be like, what? I'm, I say, breathe in. And then when they breathe in, I'm like, now breathe out. And when they breathe in out, I'm like, <laughs> push that dick in there. And I just hold it in there. Now I'm like, now just breathe with it. And it, breathe with it. Take it. Take it. Good girl. Take that shit. And then I pu- pull it out again. You did it. And then I'm like, you, you got to make them feel like they're doing so. You did it. Like if I had a gold star, I put it on their forehead. Now, now, now breathe in again. Now breathe I- out. <laughs> push that shit the fuck in. Now, some of these chicks, they can't take the dick. And it's like. 
I'm just amazed. Like, I think I find it so fascinating. Like, yes, I'm a porn star. Or I've been a porn star or whatever you want to classify it as. I've done porn. But I feel like there's so many more people who are not porn stars or more porn star than me. Like, these stories, I I mean, I envy you. Like, well, I applaud you. But I, I mean, porn is way different. Yes, we get pounded the fuck and whatever, but it's like... You're gold starring people on the fucking forehead. You saw fucking all kinds of fucking crazy nights and whatever. I'm I'm boring. I mean, I'm awesome and I, I have great like, sex and great pussy. Don't get me wrong. Yo, I'm but sure I'm boring. Like, I don't do this fucking shit you're talking Alexis, about. I'm like a kindergarten teacher. I don't got gold stars and fucking macaroni noodles to glue on these hoes heads and fucking pipe cleaners and shit like that. I'm just saying, like, if I did, I would. I put a gold star on her forehead like, yeah, you took that dick. Be, like that's that's a lot of chicks won't suck dick because they feel like they're bad at. But that even shit. the fact of you just doing it, which I appreciate, because yeah. like you're a man that like you 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 obviously know yourself sexually and what women know and like whatever is like. But if you have someone that takes control and like he's like, hey, just trust me, you trust me, because obviously at that point you're trusting that person, you're right. sexual. Hey, just breathe out, or whatever. Like some people don't know that, so that technique, or whatever. Obviously, like I know what that means, but a lot of people don't. So it's just like a different feeling for people than in the trusting environment like I've done with porn. Yeah. You yourself are doing it in their thing. It's just like, for me, it's just funny because the taboo-ness of like what people classify me as, oh, I get like shunned because I've done porn and this is well, this is whatever. But yeah. there's so much more to me than just that, which the same thing with you is you are who you are, but you have this other side of you, which makes you a great person because you're a well-rounded person. But it's just like why I love private talk is because I want to show the equality of like why we're all fused together and like why it makes it so organically just a conversation to just be ourselves. That's, that's right. And I think you I think you should just have empathy for one another. And like and, and it's cool to have to have empathy in bed. Like, all right, like Because you like, can't be selfish and that's what a lot of people do. They're, yeah. just, they're selfish for just for like the immediate thing, but it's like a give and take. Yeah, and it's like for a, for a woman, it's like, yo, dude, like you're coming to my house. You're smaller than me. You're vulnerable. You're putting yourself in this. You're putting yourself in a in a in a in a position. So you want them to be comfortable. You know what I mean? And I want them to enjoy themselves. So have I made you feel comfortable here at Private Talk, Jude? Well, I haven't got my dick in you yet. Well, you're not going to, but you'll still feel comfortable on the couch. I'm uncomfortable, man. <laughs> well, fuck you too, bitch. I agree. Boo. Boo. Let me put my dick in you so I can be comfortable. Just breathe out. I'm sure all of the private talk listeners would want the same, but I hope you guys are subscribing and liking to this channel and okay. loving this conversation. Yeah. But we're about to get to Truth with Texas. Are you let's ready? Let's fucking, let's get it. Truth with fucking Texas, Jude. All right. So you're going to pick a card. And every card means something different. Make sure you let us know your truth. Shout out to this fucking water with benefits. This honey water is fucking good, by the way. Shout out to that. Water benefits. All right, let's get it. I got it. So I just eat, I just take one. That's it. We're going to do all of the cards, but oh, you're going to take one at a time. They're all going to mean something different, and each question may get a little bit more spicier. We'll just see which how you pick. Are you ready for with? Yes, I am. Truth with Texas. Here we go. Come on. Come pick on, it. young Texas. Like it. Love Come it. Come on, Lone Star. Let's get this shit. Ace. Of? Hearts. All right. Ace of Hearts means it's my romantic question. That makes sense because it's a heart. Yes, it's a all heart. Right. I got a... Uh, Let's see. Um, I got a hard on. Ooh, I like it. I love it. Fucking dad jokes. Go mm. ahead. All right. All right. So romance. Is there, you said earlier about the romantic songs, but um, is there a romantic movie that you like? Like if you're Netflixing, chilling, you're going to romance some girl. Like is there a romantic movie that you just, your go-to that you like, that you've been forced to watch? Let my private talk listeners let know. All right, there's three. You ready? I'm ready. All right, so the first one is a romantic movie that's just, I just think it's my its my shit, and it's called The Princess Bride. I fucking love that shit. Princess Bride. Every time he's, it was it's about like this dude that was like, he was like the chore boy for this girl, and she'd tell him to do shit, and every time he'd do the shit, she'd be like, Char boy, or whatever the fuck his name is, go get me some motherfucking hay. And he would say, as you wish. And every time he said, as you wish, it meant I love you. 
And then, like, he had to go away, and he came back, and he got her, Andre the Giants, and it, that's the shit. The second one. That's hot. The second one I really dig is called About a Boy, and that's some British shit. And the the way the reason why I like this one is because I can relate to it. It's this dude that has a problem with like intimacy issues, and he just fucks single moms. Like he just goes around and fucks single moms because he knows that after a while they'll just get back with the dad and shit. So he just he shows up, gets the pussy, puts the kid to bed. He like gets to be the good guy, and then she's like, "Oh, we're gonna fucking, I'm gonna try to work it out with such and such." He's like, "All right, peace." And then he ends up like renting a kid. He like gets a kid to pretend he like a kid. Yeah, he gets he gets a, he gets a kid and pretends like it's his kid, and it's called single parents alone together. And then he get, he uses the kid to fuck moms, and I'm like, I can relate to that shit. And then the third book, the third one. I watched, I only saw it one time, but I was coming down off of ecstasy the next day, so I was real emotional, and it was The Notebook. Mm, you cried. Like a motherfucker. <laughs> Went, yo, t- uh, spoiler alert, I don't give a fuck, it's like 20 years old. <laughs> this Let bi- him know. This bitch has dementia. <laughs> 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 so he got to remind her ass every fucking time, <laughs> every time he goes to fuck her, he's like, hey, bitch, remember I'm your husband, Ryan Gosling. <laughs> Would you do that? What? Remind her every time if that nah, happens. No, I'd make it. Fun. I'd make it fun. I have her wear a <laughs> wig and shit, and be like, "Yo, he, hey, my name is Sam this time. I'm fucking, uh, and you're you're Ruby, and you you're a fucking. You didn't know you, you forgot this about you, but you just love sucking dick. And yeah, we're gonna go to fucking. We're gonna go go to a fucking sex party, the old people's sex party, like cocoon, and just fucking toss it up and fucking. You can let dudes dump loads on you. I'll fucking nut in other people. Cuckold. You're going to be a cuckold. Not if I'm dumping loads in other people. I'm not going <laughs> to fucking suck it out of them or no shit like that. That's not what a cuckolding completely means. What is it? It's just letting your partner go and have sex with someone, watching them. Well, I, yeah, but I would be getting some pussy too, though. Okay. So with that. that You're swinging that, at that yeah, point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. not going to be like, I'm not going to be like fucking. Having her get fucked by a dude and be rubbing her back or no shit like You're that. You're not going to caress no, her? I ain't a fucking... La- I, the, my last relationship was an open relationship. And I was like, I was like, how am I going to feel about this, her fucking other dudes? Um, and the thing is, one, I get pussy at such a crazy clip. Like, she'd really have to be a straight whore to get... But like, did you guys discuss every time that you guys had, like, yeah, other... Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, she... And, and the thing is this, is like, it don't matter, like, how good the dick is... Guess what? That dick ain't attached to me. True, but that's why I feel like for me, I did porn. Like, I feel like I needed, I felt like there's a difference of levels of like how you said, like there's people that are just, unless you've like got things out of you or like, you know, people have to like, you know, go out there and experience things. You'll never know what you're missing or lacking or wanting more of. And any of those things is until you actually do it. So for me, in you know, in the industry, I feel like I fulfilled all my fantasies in a safe way, in a way yeah. that was just very like, I don't know, my like I say it's like an art. I, that's how I express myself. I'm very, you know, I was open being naked and showing myself and how I expressed myself. So I think that's really fun. No, I you, do. I think so too. And it's like I think it's cool if 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 both people are accepting of the shit. Um, I don't, like look. I don't know if long term I'd be, I'd be into the swinging thing, but like I I did enjoy myself with the whole fucking swinging thing. But she like wanted two dudes at once, and I'm just like I'm so t- I'm like I'm not against that shit, but like. Have you ever done it? Yeah, I used to run trains with my homeboys all oh, the yeah, fucking yeah, time, yeah, but yeah. like. But with your girlfriend. Like- yeah, but like I'm no never, and I'm forty, and I'm not against it, but like I'm forty two. I don't need to see no new dicks. You know what I mean? Like, and I don't want to see none of my homies. They're all married now. No new dicks. No and, new dick. Yeah, N N D. That's my <laughs> that's my motto. No new dicks. Like that would be my like. Yo, go have go go run a busto over there. Just fucking like tell me about it if you like it. You know, would what I mean? you come back if she came back from that situation? Would you fuck her straight up? Or do you have like a requirement like twenty four hours, forty eight hours? No, or, no, no. Like, just right away. Just as long as she fucking like when go I fuck take a shower, you're good. Yeah, yeah. Like when I fuck porn chicks, I they, I'd, I'd fuck them the same day they had a shoot. I don't, the pussy's like a self cleaning oven. Like this shit just just fucking <laughs> flushes out. You know what I'm saying? Just fucking like just rinse it off like. Don't let you know, you know, like I don't want to be eating eating you out and like fucking like what the fuck is that? Like, why are my fucking lips tingling? Like, what the fuck is that? 
Oh, God damn it. Like, come on, man. Like, really? Like, you let this motherfucker nut in you? Like, that would be my rule. Like, no nutting in you. You know, that used to be a thing, like, girls would talk about when they had girlfriends. Like, I mean, girlfriends, boyfriends. And they'd come, like, they'd be the ones who'd be, like, okay for dating who they were. And then they, like, had a problem when they went to work. So they would nut in their girlfriend before they went to work. And then they would go and work. And, like, that was, like, them getting off and whatever, which I think is, like, Whatever. It's That's shallow as fuck. Like, 1, just deal with it. Just deal exactly. with it. Exactly. She's paying your bills while you're going playing that video game. So there was this book by Chuck Palahniuk or whatever. He's the one that wrote Fight Club. Okay. And this is like some real ill shit. Uh, um, I'm not, I wouldn't do this, but like, this is like that to that level. Like, so his girl left him. And so what he did was he paid this hustler, this like gigolo to seduce her. And fuck the shit out of her. And then leave her. And then... I feel like I know another movie like that. Well, it gets deeper. Then he pays the dude to give him head. Oh, so yeah. that he's got, like, the one up. Like, in his brain, he's got the one up. But who like, is that a one up to? Well, Chuck Palnett. He's <laughs> a fucking gay dude. So I'm sure, like, like, a straight guy would never come up with that idea. Like, hey, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to have a guy fuck my girl. And then he's going to suck my dick. I'm like, eh, I don't know about all that. But, like, it's kind of to your point. Like, it's like, yeah, I'm going to fucking mark my territory. Like, yo, yeah. I, don't, I don't need to mark my territory. You're confident in what you're doing, what you're saying, yo, what you're all about. Straight the fuck up. Like, when I'm out at the club and someone's trying to holler at my girl, I don't even, I just laugh. I'm like, go ahead, man. Spit game. Because you know what? I that, feel like it's flattering. Thank you. I don't get a, I'm not, I'm not some cholo that's going to be like, what's up, fool? You trying to talk to my girl, fool? And bust me in the head with some Modelo or some shit like that? Like, yo, dog. Your like, specifics are amazing. I love it. What's that? Your specifics are amazing. I love it. Yeah, like, it, it, all my shit comes from real places. Like, Yo. Something happened one time with a Modelo. Yeah, fuck it. hey fool, you trying to get my fucking girl, man? Shit. Oh, uh, all right. So, let's get to this next question. All right, yeah, my let's, bad. Yeah, let yeah. me do it. All right, go ahead. Let me do it. All right, go ahead. Grab it, like it, love it. Clubs. You got a club. All right, clubs is a kinky question. <laughs> we haven't talked about kink yet. <laughs> I think you're epitome of kinky. I like it. All right, let's get it. All right. <clears throat> Where is the craziest place you've ever had sex? Um, club, middle of the club, in outside. My, in my aunt's asshole. What? Crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't scared of you motherfuckers. <laughs> I'll tell you, I did. I don't really have sex in crazy places, but the illest shit that I do is when a chick is fucking me, I make them tell me shit that they're fucking ashamed of that they got off on. What is the craziest story that they were ashamed of? She fucked her cousin. Girl guy. She, she fucked her boy cousin. Her boy, they, they were out in the country. There was like some... It was why does it have to be in country and why does why does it have, it have to why does it have to be in texas alexis texas i never yeah, fucked yeah. the cousin I, motherfuckers. I, yeah i'm not yeah whatever you're a cousin fucker but yo that shit That's, made me yo i busted like a motherfucker when she told me that shit i was like split splat that just made you explode well it's because a, the taboo-ness of it or like it's disgusting it turns you on <laughs> and it's extremely intimate and i'm like and i like the i People have, people are... You like when people feel vulnerable to, enough to tell you their, like, secrets or their wants or whatever. Yes. That means that That's they're intimacy. actually comfortable. Yeah, exactly. And I also have a very dark part of me that, like, grew up around real fucked up shit. So I like fucked up shit. So it's acquired it's, taste. Of it's just things. in so me. sometimes it's, you know, you got to find a comfortable place to show that. I got a stain on my heart, and they do too, and I want to hear about it. So what's the second most like revealing crazy thing? Cousin fucking. What's Cousin that? fucking's pretty good. That's pretty awesome. Um, this uh, this girl got like. <sighs> Just say it. I want the truth. She got like finessed in the fucking th three. Th she was fifteen and got finessed in the fucking like three thirty five year old black dudes in, in a stairwell. 
get finessed. I well, feel like it was kind of finessing. I feel well, like. it was it was a it was she didn't say no, but she did it and she came, and that was I was like. And then, like, she had this guilt attached to it, so she came up with all these lies, but, like, now she's over it, and she's good. And when she told me that shit, I was like, that's hot as hell, too. That's fucking... Different. I just like nasty-ass shit. Like, that shit is fucking... Like, that's nasty. Like, I don't give a fuck. And, like, look, whatever, man. I've done disgusting shit, too. You know what I mean? Like, hey, we're all people. We all have our yeah, own fucking likes, yeah. dislikes. I love stories. Getting, I get whores. I bust. I bust quick as hell to whores because I'll be like, I'm disgusting, and you're just dis- like, look at me. I gotta rent your pussy, and then look at you. You gotta fucking sell it to me. Look, and we're both disgusting, and I just bust. You just like disgusting. I love that shit. I All fucking right. love it. All, All right, right, Mr. Disgusting. Let's gonna see what other cards you get from Miss Texas. I hope it's a, this is gonna be the Ace of Diamonds. Diamonds. If I you had were a fifty fifty chance. Go ahead. All right. So it's a spicy question. All right. I think they're a little spicy, but you're a spicy, spicy. You're a spicy young lady, mm-hmm. Alexis, Texas. I like that. How many people have you had sex with, Rude June? <sighs> Alexis, you're from you're from Texas. That is correct. How many ribs have you eaten? I don't know because you know I don't eat that you don't meat, eat meat anymore. All it's right. been, but it's been a recent. But I have back in the day definitely ate quite a few. Like you don't even know how many, right? What number did you stop counting? In the sixties, <laughs> and that was fucking twenty something. That was twenty years ago. <laughs> I like, like it. I don't. Schmedium's been running through that every state, every city, every country. And I don't do one night stands either. No, you always repeat event or do you I, have to have like a relationship? I just want to be comfortable with them. You know what I mean? I, I got to be comfortable, too. So do you fuck on the first date or do you have to like hang out with them? Like, how does that work? I'll fuck on the first date. And sometimes I remember I was fucking this young chick and she was like, I don't want to fuck you in the first date. You're not going to respect me. And I was like, I don't respect you right now, because if you can't figure out that I'm a good dude and that you're attracted to me and I'm going to treat you well, yeah, then you're fucking dumb. I mean, a lot of people hold out, though, because of the perception of, I think it's what society perceives. I feel like, again, it's all about energies and who, how you perceive each situation. But. I agree with you, but but to fucking, I, I guess I want to I wanna deal with somebody that is that thinks beyond uh, societal norms. So you say you, earlier you have intimacy issues. Is that because why you can't find someone like that? You haven't found your ideal someone... Like with all those check marks that you want? Well, um, why do I have intimacy issues or why haven't I found somebody? Well, do you think that you having intimacy issues has a play of why yeah. you haven't found someone in, yeah, yeah. in all find, these check marks yeah. that you want? Because yeah, you're not I, an unrealistic yeah, yeah. man. You you know, you have, no, you, yeah, you're very yeah. vocal about what you like, what you don't like. I'll and, come up with, I'll, I'll build somebody up and then I'll, I'll pick them apart and I'll come up with reasons not to be intimate. And I've, and I'm working on not doing that right now. That is, that is my number one goal to not do that right now. I'm 42. I worked really hard and I'm looking around and I'm in a one bedroom apartment and it's like, it's dope as hell to get a lot of pussy when you're 27, but like when you're 42 and you're in a one bedroom apartment and you're just knocking down 25 year olds, it's not that cool. It's pathetic. You're all fucked out. It's just like, it's re- like, and I'm going to keep doing it. Like I'm literally, I got when I leave here, I'm going to have a girl come suck me up and I'm going to kick her out the house. So you can just do a, you know, just a blow job. You don't need sex. You just That's what she wants. She wants to get dogged, so I'm a dogger. So that means dogging means just getting. I'm going to say, I'm like, you're going to come over. You're not going to say anything to me. You can't wear perfume. You're going to get on your fucking knees. You're going to suck me up. I'm going to gag you with my dick. I probably won't come. And then I'm going to put you out of the house. I and would never go. That sounds like a lot of work to get ready. Go to someone who's not interested. She doesn't need to be ready. She's all I need is that. Hey, throat. different strokes for different folks. I'm not opposed to it. Whatever works for you, girlfriend, you keep going, get dogged out. Yeah, I she like wants it. that shit. Like that's What's, yeah, I'm like, if she wants to be treated like a princess, I'll pet her cheek like Christina Rose. She didn't like it though. You didn't get that call back. You gonna do that again? I bet you she would have liked if I choked her ass out with this dick and sent her ass home. 
You like that choking people out with your dick. I yo, whatever you like, I like. That's what I like. I'm fucking easy. Equal I, opportunity. I like coming. I like girls to come. So whatever you need to come, I'm into that shit. You heard that private talk. He likes to come. You're I like you to come. <laughs> I want I want three to one every time. That's what I want. Three nuts to one. That's pretty fair. All right, the last one is the spades one, which is the naughty question. And it's my favorite because it's just like my booty. It's really, really naughty. So are you ready for your final question? I'm a fan of that ass. Ooh. So what is your weirdest sexual experience? You've talked about many to hear at Private Talk. Wow. And for me to ask you weirdest, I've asked this question on some other episodes, but for me, I feel like I had to repeat and come back to this one because for you, I feel like you're going to take the cake. Like if there was a topping, you're going to be it here at Private Talk. What is my weirdest sexual? I don't fucking, huh? Did I, I stump you? Yeah, like all my experiences really there i don't know if they're weird or i don't i don't know if they're weird or what oh uh, here's one this, here's 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 one that was dope so back in the day i was flipping pills and i was fucking with this i was fucking with this maximum model chick and um so we're we're just on the bed we're doing ketamine like a motherfucker like we're just blowing lines of k and my homeboy he's married and his wife, like, as soon as she got the kids out of him, she just started holding back on the pussy. And we used to run trains on girls and shit. So I'm like, I'm like, uh, actually, this is, an, there was another good. All right. I'm switching the sexual experience. You ready? This one better be good then. Cause that one was going somewhere good. I feel like. I mean, I could tell you both, but I feel like we're running out of All time. Right, yeah. Tell All me, right. tell me their best one. This, this one I was telling, I was telling John this one. Well, I'm, I'm. I'm at this place called Spaceland, which is on. It's in Silver Lake. It's not called Spaceland no more. I meet these two girls. They work for Hunter S. Thompson. I'm fucking. They know me from Jenny Jones. This is twenty something years ago. I'm like, they're like, it's it's like one o'clock. They're like, you know, we, you know where we can get a strap on. And I was like, yeah. As a matter of fact, I'll buy you a strap on if I can watch you use that motherfucker. And she's like. Looks at her homegirl, and she was like, yeah, I'm with that shit. I'm like, bet. And one's cuter than the other. One's like a cute nerd. The other one's just like a regular. There's always that friend. There's a, there's a, there, there one's fuckable. It's just it's not like I'm going to fucking show it to my homeboy. Like, look what I knocked down. You know what I mean? So, I'm with, and I'm with this Jewish motherfucker. And I'm uh, Josh. And I'm like, and he's, he's from Flint. Shout out to Josh. I'm like, yo, Josh, come on, bro. We just hit a lick. He was like, what's a lick? I said, don't worry to worry about it. We got that shit. I didn't have a car at the time. And we couldn't go back to my house because I was living in Koreatown and a, and a rat died in my wall. So it smelled like dead rat in my fucking crib. And I'm like, I can't take these bitches to a house that smells like dead rat. So No one likes that. No, nah, it's not sexy. Dead rat, not sexy fellas remember that shit so we're, we're like driving down we're they're following us we stop at hollywood in western there was a sex shop there i roll up in that bitch it's just me solo and i get a fucking pink strap on the dude's looking at me like i'm half a fag or some shit he's like all right dude with your fucking weird pink strap on I'm about to get pegged i'm like don't worry about it that's why you work in here at two in the morning i'm about to go fuck these girls so me and we end up in like this shithole apartment that Josh lives in. It's in West Hollywood where all the fucking Russians were. It's all nice now, but like it's it, this was 2002. So we're in bed. He's got the shitty car. He's got that shitty rundown trap house fucking dusty brown carpet look, looking like it needs some lotion, ashy ass <laughs> carpet. And he's got a cat and it's bright as hell in his fucking room. Like the mood lighting is fucking whack. And the fucking ugly one is fucking the hot one with the strap on. And she's banging it out. And me and Josh are both on both ends of the bed. And we looking at each other like, this shit is butt fucking nanas. And then, so I'm like, I take my dick out. And she starts jerking me off. So Josh takes his the dick one out. The pretty one. The, the pretty one that's getting fucked starts jerking us off like ski polling that shit. Like, wop, 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 wop. Like... <laughs> 
like shake weights on, on the motherfucking dick. She shake weight in the dick. And both, and like usually I don't like look, like looking at dudes while I got, like while, while my dick is out, but I'm looking at my man like, this shit is the shit. And he's like, yeah, this is the shit. And I'm like, yo, can we fuck? And they're like, yeah, yeah. you can fuck. At that point, you're ready. And here's the deal. I'm really, I was... I was Mr. Raw Dog because I was poor. Like, and like, fuck it. Like, when you're poor, you go raw. You got nothing to fucking lose. You like, try Saran Wrap at one time? Never, but I wish I, <laughs> I wish I would have just for just to say I could just. I've just, heard stories of guys doing that. I, just so I could have said yes to that fucking question, I wish I did Saran Wrap my dick. <laughs> so we're in fucking Josh's house and we go to, we go to get the motherfucking condoms and. I don't know where the fucking condoms are because I don't live in Josh's fucking house. And he runs into the bathroom and comes out with the fucking Magnum. And I'm like, where are the condoms at, dog? He's like, they're in the bathroom. So I'm in the bathroom like, all I see is fucking toilet paper and lotion. I'm like, where the fucking, where, bro, where? He's like, in the drawer. And I open up the drawer and it's some busted ass lifestyles that they give you at the fucking clinic when you go to get a fucking AIDS test. And I go in there and I fucking, I open it up and it's like so old. It's like fucking, like it's mummified. Like, like you open it and it sounds like fucking Indiana Jones when he opens the tomb. It's like, and dust is coming off that motherfucker. I don't even know if it's fucking lubricated. And I'm like, hell no. And I can barely fuck with a condom as it is. And turns out, here's, here's the secret. I thought my dick was way smaller than it was. It just happened that I happened to be around giant dick individuals. I had, I, my, like, my dick... My dick is like a point guard on a basketball team. It's bigger than most people's, but compared to everybody else's it's the shortest one there so like i now I, I got point guard dick and i got this fucking tiny ass dry fucking dehydrated needed some water lifestyle and i'm putting it on my dick and it's like going soft as it's happening and i go to fuck this girl with this getting choked out and guess guess who josh gets the fucking hot one he's fucking the hot one on the fucking floor and i got this fucking ugly ass broad in his bed and and i'm trying to fuck and the cat's at the edge of the bed oh, staring at me and i'm like looking at the cat and like i'm trying to get my dick hard and the cat's like you a lame motherfucker and i'm like fuck you cat and i'm like trying to like finger fuck her get her shit and guess what she had cave pussy this bitch had a motherfucking cave pussy so i stick my dick in this bitch i'm like freaking the fuck out because i'm just trying to keep my dick hard and i can't feel a fucking thing it's it i might as well have just stick my dick out that window it's just like <laughs> whoosh, nothing like i'm feeling fucking nothing and i'm like trying i'm trying sounds and it, rough yo as it's happening like i'm feeling my dick go soft and for fellas that like is choking you're like don't let your dick go soft and the more you say and don't let your dick go soft your dick is like fuck that i'm going you're soft mentally fucked yourself oh up. yeah it's like you already lost it's like when you're shooting like when you're shooting a free throw done you got to focus on making the free throw you don't you don't Not focus happening. on missing the free throw don't miss you got to make so i'm like okay dog like this shit ain't working i'm like let me take that shit off can you have me off a little bit so we can do that and she's like no you gotta i need you to keep the condom on while you suck i'm like are you fucking kidding me dude you're in this dirt fucking apartment there's a cat on the edge of the bed and now and this is where you work for hunter s thompson and this is where you draw the fucking line sucking my fucking dick without a fuck with a you'd rather have this dry ass rubber and she's like yeah so like we're trying it i can't fucking get it i can't get my shit meanwhile josh is going to town josh is beating the fucking pussy up on the ground and I'm, I try and I try. And finally, I'm like, you know what, man? Fuck this. I'm looking at the cat. I'm like, fuck you, cat. I'm looking at the girl. I'm like, thanks a fucking lot. Like, I just, and I dropped $75 on the strap on. Josh gets to fuck the fucking hot chick. And I, now I'm fucking butt naked on the couch in the next room. While, and I can see Josh. He's in, he's in the doorway beating up the pussy. And I'm like sitting there and I'm smoking a cigarette. I'm just like thinking about life. You know what I mean? You think about life decisions. How did I get here? All of this shit. How did just, Josh get better than you? I'm like this hoe ass motherfucker. This hoe ass 
motherfucker. And Josh, Josh, the type of dude that'll collect the money for 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 the restaurant and keep some of the tip money. You know what I'm saying? Like Josh, that like kind of Josh. Josh, Josh, that dude. You know, and I'm like, hey, Josh, let's switch up the pussy. Nah, nah, I'm good. I'm like, come on, bro, let's switch it up. Nah, nah, I'm good. So I'm like, all right, man, fuck it. So now I'm smoking the cigarette. Josh busts. Josh busts. And I'm like, all right, cool. It's three in the morning. It's late. The girl gets up and she's wearing a fucking, she's wearing a nerdy schoolgirl outfit. She's got the fucking skirt on and shit. And she's like, I never came. I'm like, you never came? I was like looking at Josh like, Psh, lame. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'd have made her came if I could have got my dick hard and I didn't have a bullshit ass, dry ass motherfucking condom and the fucking cave pussy that I had to stick my dick in, you know, whatever. So she was like, You want to see me come? And we're like, Fuck yeah, we want to see. Oh, I forgot to tell you when Josh was about to come, he told the fucking girl with the cave pussy to come over. He was like, Rub my balls, rub my balls. Yeah, oh yeah, rub my balls. So he's fucking, you know, he's got like the Jewish accent. Come on, babe. Yeah, rub it, rub it. So like he's fucking getting his balls rubbed by the fucking cave pussy while he's beating up the fucking other shit. And he's like, Ah, and he busts all over. And then the, that's when the girl's like, I never came. And I'm sitting in the other room like, Me fucking neither. <laughs> Smoking a fucking cigarette. A bad day. She's like, do you want to see me come? We're like, fuck yeah, let's see you come. Like, somebody should, somebody besides Josh should fucking come. <laughs> so she stands up. She pulls her skirt up with one hand. And she grabs her fucking thing with the other hand. And she starts doing the finger shit mad fast. Now, you're talking about squirting. She's doing this shit. She's like, I'm going to come. I'm going to come. I'm going to come. And she fucking squirts all over the goddamn thing. I don't think it's squirt. I think it's piss, but whatever. She squirt on you. She squirted all over the carpet. She just <laughs> blah, 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 blah. Standing up, standing up. Grrr, psh, squirts all over the carpet. Josh was like, hell yeah. And uh, this motherfucker, Josh, he's hype as hell. Somehow his dick is hard again. And he was like, you want to go again? I like to fuck. And he starts banging his dick back and forth against his fucking legs. The like stripper move. Yeah, like fucking brick, brick, brick. Like, yo, I like to fuck. Let me fuck. And the girls are looking at him like, dog, it's like 3.30 in the morning, man. We're fucking tired. And as he's saying, I like to fuck, let's fuck. The cat comes over and eats the pussy juice off the motherfucking carpet, dog. The cat eats the pussy it juice. It sounds like everyone had fun but you. And the big pussy chick. <laughs> Well, she rubbed balls. Maybe that did something good for her. Who knows? Yeah. And so, like, and they're like, no, we don't want to fuck. The cat's eating our pussy. Like, this is this is a real bu It's like, you know, when you come, you kind of, like, come to. And it was, like, that moment. The awakening of a, it moment. Was, it was the awakening. They're like, we're in some shithole apartment in the Russian part of fucking Hollywood with this dirt fucking dirt carpet and the cat's eating my cum off of there and they're like i think we're gonna get going now and i'm like all right that's cool and they're about to leave and they're like um can we have the strap on i'm like yeah man just take the like what am i gonna do with it F fuck you know like, like it was an investment so i give her the fucking strap on and then i have to take a fucking gypsy cab because this is pre-uber and uh so i had to take a gypsy cab back to fucking k-town that and definitely sounds like a weird experience. That So that's one of my weirder fucking sex experiences. Well, I appreciate you sharing that with us at the Private Talk. I thank you for you being so open and candid with us. And my listeners, I hope you guys are enjoying this. Thank you so much for being a guest. And uh, yeah, thank you, Private Talk. And I can't wait for the next episode. We will see who we have next. Can, can I plug my book? Oh, you can, of course. Let my listeners know where we can find your book, your social medias. Let us know. All right, so I got an ill mean page. It's one more Jude, O N E M O R E J U D E. You got to type in the whole thing. I'm shadow banned. Imagine that. Me too, don't worry. I know, right? Motherfuckers. The book is Hyena. Now, if you're not sure about this shit, you can go listen to it for free on YouTube because somebody fucking bootlegged my shit. <laughs> What the fuck ever. I ain't getting paid that much off of it anyway. If you do do that and you enjoy it, please go on Amazon. But the fact that you just review. said that, I feel like, you know, you're 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 not talking it up. You just say, but if you can say that, they should go out and buy your book. So private talk, go out and buy the book. Support Rude Jude. I love you. Thank you so much for being here. It's been Thank too you. long. Let's not be strangers. Owen Hummingbird's the other book. And 
and that's it. That's all I got to plug. Thank you so Which much. Which one's your favorite one? Hum, hyena's funnier. Hummingbird is dark as fuck. But it. Which one's the more truth or rude? The darker of the two. And people that don't know me really like it. And then people that do know me want to come save me. They're like Jesus. Hey, you gotta see. You gotta show both sides. They're like Jesus Christ, dude, for real. And I'm like, yeah, for real. Shit is real. Hey, sometimes real is the best way to be. Hummingbird hyena. It's the realest shit. It's the realest shit I ever wrote. Like Pac says. Truth. Thank All right, you. guys. Private talk. You heard him. Make sure you go and support him. Get his books. Thank you for listening. Make sure you subscribe and like to Private Talk. Thanks for joining and listening us. And I can't wait for next episode. All right, guys. See you next time. Thank you.